Hi guys, welcome back to I Slay Spina Bifida. Here on this channel, we slay in all obstacles that comes our way. Yes, we do. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And uh, yeah, so let's get started right away. So for those know, who know me, um, you all know that I like to crochet. I love it. I love to crochet. Beautiful handmade hats, scarves, uh, couch throws, baby blankets, all of those beautiful things. Yes, I love to do all of them. Um, so I decided to basically go on Amazon and purchase some things that will help me to crochet as far as my you know because I'm dealing with my vision and I have poor vision it's not the best so and yes I've tried using glasses and things like that it's it just doesn't work for me but um, I just do the best that I can when it comes to crochet so to help me out the first thing I um, purchased, and this is very important, is this row counter crochet hook. And it lights up as well. So this is the crochet hook. And when you turn this little button on right here, let's see, does it turn on? Oh, you know what, you guys, it doesn't turn on. Let me see. Oh, yes, it does. So the S and R means, okay, the S means um, stitches. The R means row. So it counts, it helps me count the stitches and the rows when it comes to crocheting. Because you have to keep count, especially if you're dealing with a, a huge project you really would need to keep count of how many stitches and how many rows are you're working with and as you can see it lights up as well um some people use this only for like dark colored yarn like i um i'm working on a project right now using this uh blue yarn and it helps me to see as you guys can see i'm holding this towards my face because like i said i'm not able to see when it's like far down away from me so i just crochet like this using the light and it helps me to see where I'm at. It's very smooth. The um, the yarn goes through. I mean, you know, it goes through the yarn like butter. So that's a um, a good thing. It's a plus. And then the other uh, thing, it came with a case. And it has different crochet hook heads. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you right quick. So it came with this cute reddish pink color. Or I think it's red. But anyway. <laughs> it came with this cute case. Now when I zip, unzip it. Um. This is what it looks like uh, with the different crochet heads, as you can see. And it, and it even has, uh, like when you're ready to switch the head on the, the hook on, on the crochet, you use this little wrench to tighten it up. So that's very helpful. Um, I, and then it, it came with another crochet handle I'm, I'm using that too so but it it, it doesn't um, show the roll counting on the other handle so um, of course I got this from Amazon and it was like $27 I 
Um, I thought this would be a great tool for me to use to help me see because of my sight. So I got that, and this is from Amazon, you guys. It's not sponsored, but this is from Amazon. You could tell by the title. Um, it's going to be <laughs> from Amazon, okay, but not sponsored. Okay, so the next thing I bought was um, this thing called Hot Fix. It's like um, hot glue. And I'm going to spice up my little crochet projects a little bit, you know, twist it, do a little twist to it, glam it up a little bit, you know, because y'all know I like to bling out stuff. So the Hot Fix is... This tool right here, and it came with some rhinestones, different sizes too. So here's some, if you guys can see, there is some beautiful green and blue and dark blue, uh, light green, light blue. I think this is like a rose gold color. They have all types of different colors. This is beautiful. So I can't wait to decorate my little ear warmers, headbands, hats, gloves, fingerless gloves, all of those beautiful things. Um, and add a little twist to it, you know? Show my little talent. You feel me? I'm going to open this up just to uh, show you guys up closely because it's, it's in plastic. Do y'all see all these beautiful colors right here? I even have some more um, rhinestones that I purchased. Um, I will show you guys the next time, but these are cool. I can't wait to try them on my crochet project. They, they are going to be so pretty. I'm telling you trying to spice up my game you feel me <laughs> so not only that it came with um the rhinestone pencil um i can sharpen these up i got a pencil sharpener but these little pencil wax pencil you pick up your little rhinestones with this comes in handy um uh, I, I believe I have like two of them in here. Yeah, there's two of them. And let's see what else. Um, I came with some more rhinestones. These are the clear ones. Very pretty. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, y'all. Y'all, I'm beginning to it for real. So the way you use this, you guys, you have to plug it up because it comes. It has a plug right here. Um, you plug it up, and then there's tips, different size tips for the rhinestones that you place up on here. So I know it's in here. It's in a little bag. So he's, here are the little tips that you use for the hot fix tool. So that's cool to have. And they also gave me like a little brush to, to um, brush off the film of, of the, um, you know, from the glue. So... I can't wait, y'all. I can't wait to bling out the projects. You feel me? It's going to be cute. Ladies, get ready. Because I'm, I'm going to be having y'all looking good. You feel me? I'm here. Mm. So, my nieces and nephews. Um, not nephews. But my nieces, they, they going to love this. That Yes, they are. That they are. Okay. And then... Last but not least, oh, and then too, uh, for the, the ones that do crochet, and you want to know how much this was like 16 
which is not a bad price because Amazon be hooking you up with some some stuff that you really may need that comes along with these tools so don't knock it till you try it I'm telling you okay so um then but last but not least i have i'm gonna get into loom knitting i don't know if you guys know anything about loom knitting but this loom knitting kit. Um, oh man, and I forgot to um get my pick that goes with it. But anyway, this is a loom knitting kit, and it helps you to knit hats. And it, um, you can also use use this to make you know infinity scarves or just scarves, you know, long scarves that that's not connected to each other. But um. I've always wanted to try this out, and I am. I'm, I'm gonna do a lot of hookups with these as well. I'm gonna take them out and show you guys what they actually look like. So this is this size is for a baby, a baby newborn. This is uh, I forget how many pegs on here that they have. But this, I know for sure this is for uh, a newborn, okay? Then we have size for a toddler, okay? Um, I can't wait to uh, dig into this and use this. This is going to be a whole lot of fun, y'all. I'm not... Be coming up with some new projects, y'all. Stay tuned. I'm working on some stuff now, so uh, and this one is for probably like for size for nine, eight, nine, ten year olds, maybe even for a preteen teenager. Um, and this is this other one is for adult size, making their hats and stuff. So I cannot wait. Like I said, I cannot wait to use this, you guys. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm gonna try to make like a short video using these um, tools. Because um, I want I want to see if you guys um, are interested in you know using these tools. But um, yes, yeah, so I cannot wait. This is all I had for from Amazon. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what tools that I use for crocheting because. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, well, if your eye, your your vision is poor, how do you crochet? And that's the way I crochet, you guys. I, you know, I hold a project towards my face. And that's another reason why I don't think <laughs> I'll be able to teach people how to crochet. Because I have to have this close to my eyes. Now, I've seen people, when they um, do their crochet work, I've seen people, um, you know, have their little table. And then they have, have, you know, their hand far away from, you know, their project far away from their face. Um, that's because they have good eyesight. <laughs> but me, yeah, it's a little different. I have to have it close to my face and I just do what I got to do and that's why too it takes me a, a longer time to do a project because I have to rest my eyes not only I have to rest my eyes but I can't sit in this chair too long 
doing a crochet project I have to stop and transfer myself out of this chair for a while to relieve pressure so that's why it takes me a longer time to finish my crochet project for a hat it takes me about an um I'm gonna say depending on if what kind of stitch I use I'm gonna say 30 minutes to an hour because like I said I have to stop and do you know take care of myself but I promise you every time when I crochet I take my time anyway because I don't like to rush I want my projects to be nice and neat and not out of place so that's another thing but yeah I love to crochet it's um very relaxing so but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video um and don't forget to like share subscribe comment and let me know if have any of any of you guys learned how to crochet or wanted to learn how to crochet i cr learned how to crochet when i was in a nursing home um there are some staffs that taught me how to uh, crochet and then when I was a kid I remember my mom my mama was teaching me some things about crochet but I wasn't really into it like I'm into it now <laughs> but um then I uh, started to relearn it again uh, when I was in the nursing home and then of course the devil tried to stop that so you know the staffs couldn't teach me how to crochet anymore. So I got it up, uh, you know, by me thinking and knowing that YouTube teaches you a lot of things. So I got on YouTube and learned how to do the rest. And from there on, I just started practicing and practicing and then I started doing freestyle crochet you know um, I don't write patterns or anything like that sorry not patterns patterns I don't know how to do that <laughs> and then my eyesight is not all that, all that great so but what I do is I learn how to do the stitch and then I just freestyle whatever I do I just do it on my own okay i learned this design so let me just you know freestyle and see how it looks so anyway i'm done ranting but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and like i said comment down below let me know if any of you guys learned how to crochet knit or if you want to learn how to crochet or knit all right until next time i love you guys and don't forget that god loves you even more until next time bye Mwah.